evil creature of the night, killer of mouse and other vermins. Hi, gotcha! Ha ha! You can't flee away from me! You can't! <laughs> Sometimes you want to use a project from somebody else who is not using Slooper, and then you need to get uh, the project into Slooper in such a way that you can edit it. I made a video on how this should work, but that doesn't work. So this is a video on how it does work, even though it's not really immediately obvious how to do it. I'm starting here with the GitHub repository, which we're going to use in this example, and which is the Marlin uh, repository. In GitHub, it's always smart to fork a repository. Forking takes some time. I get this option you won't because I'm a paying customer for GitHub. And forking actually makes sure that you have your own copy and you can save your changes in GitHub. So now you have Jantje Marlin. If you don't do that, you don't have a writable copy unless, of course, you already own the repository, then you don't need to fork. So now you click this clone or download button and you press the copy to clipboard stuff. Okay, that's it. Now we go to Sluber. We In Sluber we do file, file, import, projects from git, clone URI, and you see he already pasted the URL from the clipboard, the URI from the clipboard. Uh, I my username and password here are automatically put here because I store it in a secure store. And then he's finding all the branches and he's asking. This is important that you copy this to the clipboard for later use. And you will see now now he's cloning, which is actually means he copies everything to your local machine. Basically, in say use a, see it's the location we're giving here. Okay. So we have three options here. The first one is actually the preferred one, but if you try this, you will see that he says no projects found. It's basically because this is not a, uh, an Eclipse project and he's not uh, accepting this. The second one is the one which you should do in this case, but which doesn't work, which is the I made a video about this one not working. So we actually go for the third one as a workaround. So that's fine. So you see now that the code is here, but if you try to build, it won't uh, work. Yeah. Um, the second thing you see is that the setup is a bit weird. You have Marlin, Marlin, which is not what you want in the standard C, CDT or C project. So you actually want to start from here, which is one level more deep, okay? So what we do is we delete this. We do not click this, keep it, otherwise you have to clone it again. So now it's gone. And now we do create a new sketch. And instead of using the default location, we're actually using Marlin. We're actually going to use the location from GitHub. We name the project Marlin. And we're fine with a mega. Uh, and we use the default, you know. Okay. project. I see the core. Let's build this. 
uh, and you also see that there is a version control behind it because it's Marlin 1.1 which is version control stuff as you can see it builds Okay, so just uh, for people who are not used to using with GitHub, uh, once you've done, the, now we are on the branch on Linux, you can switch to any branch by clicking team uh, and then other, let me tell them to fake. And you can, for instance, take it this one. Not sure why he didn't do all of them. I'll go. Anyway, so now we are on this RC bug fix, and we can compile it again because the code has changed. God knows what changed. Um, so what you see here, this triangle here, is that he's going to check this in. And the, what you should do is right click this, team, and ignore. Because with the release folder is actually the output of the compilations. You do not want that uh, checked in, yeah. so that's gone.